welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be showing you, I will be showing you how to make a, or not make, more of some blender tips and tricks for armatures. Because I know there's a lot of confusion out, confusion out there on how to really set up armatures, and sometimes the, the mesh does not track well to the armature, or you, you don't really get the points that bend well, or it just completely fails. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to get over some of the problems and how to fix some of that. As you can see, I'm using some of my my older model. I this is in some one of my older videos. I wasn't very experienced back then with armatures as I am now. As you can see, I got some random points coming out of the hands and the feet. Just have like an extra bone randomly somewhere over here. And the main problem I was having with this mesh is that I could not get it to pair properly to the armature. So what I did was I did I selected the armature first, then the mesh, and control P. Oops. I mean I meant the mesh first, then the armature, then control P, and I did it with automatic weights. But as you can see when if when I go into pose mode over here and try to move something like leg, it does not follow the mesh. And I was so stumped for this for so long. But I finally figured it out over time. I was like, I, I go to this, um, I was searching around the web and I learned about vertex points. And what verte vertex points do, or vertex groups, is that it pairs the bone that you have in this area. If it's not, it pairs it to the direct mesh. You still select the faces and you technically weight paint it, but more like in a face mode or edit mode. So you click on the actual mesh. If, you, if you're having this trouble of not, it not tracking, then go over to the vertex groups, go to edit mode, and then you would select which bone you have. Like uh, Typically in this mesh, I don't really have the bones named because it was really just a test mesh. But if we go to the very first bone down here, Or last bone. Well, anyway, what what you would do technically is you'd find the bone, right? And then you would set a, on a, a weight here. So let's just say we're trying to pair this bone to the mesh, the surrounding mesh around it, like the leg itself. So we'd go over here, press shift, go over all around the mesh, select all the faces, even the top faces over here. And then you would go over here and click assign. And what that's gonna do is that it's going to assign that bone to that part of the mesh. So it's going to actually track the mesh and the bone itself. So once you rotate it, so you go back to objects mode, and you rotate this mesh outward like that, it will track it. And you'll have a lot better looking mesh. And um, it will just look or function as it is in general. Let, let me just switch to another mesh to show you a better example of this. Okay, so I have another ro my updated robot mesh here. So as you can see, I'll then show you how this is was, was is going to work. So once I paired that up there, I'm going to show you this. So once you rotate it, it actually tracks it, and it could use a little more weight painting because as you can see, if I rotate this, the actual joint here deforms to the leg. But since it's a robot, you don't want, really want that mesh physics on it or um, de deformation so you can go back and just wait paint it the normal way or using the faces and the same thing I did here for the fingers some of the fingers weren't tracking properly so I just went in and to the if I tab back out I clicked on the mesh go over here to vertex so I went it through each individual finger and I paired it to each individual face if you go back to some of my older videos or my time-lapse videos of making and creating this mesh you can see me really just going in on every single vertex group uh, and pairing it to each finger directly and and weighting it. I know it really I know it takes a lot of time and it, it's really really boring. But if you really want to get the most out of your mesh and what you're creating, you should really do this because it's a very 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 good method on pairing your mesh to the armature and how it acts. 
Another good way is if you also go to weight paint, if you're more of the artistic type, you can go over here and slowly but surely weight paint all of your armatures onto your mesh, and you can get a way better looking result, but I, I didn't really want to do that since I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but I'm more I'm better at the vertex group method. Well, this has been a way to show you how to pair your mesh better to your armature. So I'll see you all guys in the next video. Bye.